to the Honda Power Equipment video on the HS720 Snow Thrower Maintenance and Storage. Honda always recommends using genuine parts when performing any maintenance on your snow thrower. Honda genuine parts are designed and manufactured to the precise standards as the original parts. Oil changes should be performed at regular intervals according to the owner's manual to ensure long service life. It is best to drain used oil while the engine is warm, not hot. With the engine off, turn the fuel valve to the off position. Place a suitable container under the rear of the snow thrower to catch the used oil. Remove the drain plug and allow the used oil to fully drain. Reinstall the drain plug with a new washer. With the snow thrower on a level surface, Refill the engine with Honda Genuine 5W30 motor oil. When oil begins to run out of the filler neck, the oil level is correct. Reinstall the dipstick and screw it in until it's tight. And wipe up any spills. Always dispose of used motor oil in an environmentally responsible manner. For best performance, the spark plug must be properly gapped and free of carbon deposits. Always allow the engine to cool before performing spark plug service. To inspect the spark plug, remove the spark plug cover Remove any dirt from around the spark plug area and disconnect the spark plug cap. Then use a 21 millimeter spark plug socket to remove the spark plug. Inspect the spark plug and replace it if it is fouled, the electrodes are worn, or if the insulator is cracked or chipped. Measure the spark plug gap with a spark plug gap gauge. The gap should be 0.7 to 0.8 millimeters. Install the spark plug carefully by hand to avoid cross-threading. If you are reinstalling the old spark plug, Tighten 1 8 to 1 4 turn after the spark plug seats. If you are installing a new spark plug, tighten 1 half turn after the spark plug seats to compress the sealing washer. Do not over tighten the spark plug. For the best performance, auger paddles should be smooth and in good condition. To inspect the auger paddles, turn the fuel valve off and disconnect the spark plug cap. With the snow thrower on a level surface, tilt the snow thrower back. Inspect the paddles and make sure they are in good condition and securely attached. Measure the distance between the edge of the rubber paddle to the edge of the metal auger support. The minimum length is 5 eighths of an inch. Warning, fuel may deteriorate and oxidize in as little as 30 days. Deteriorated gas will leave deposits that can cause running or starting problems or damage to your snow thrower. 
if you don't plan to use your snow thrower for three to four weeks, fill the fuel tank with gasoline and turn the fuel valve off. Restart the engine and continue to run it until it stops from lack of fuel in the carburetor. Running time should be approximately three minutes. For storage between two and three months, add fuel stabilizer to your gas can according to the stabilizer manufacturer's instructions and fill the fuel tank with treated gasoline. Turn the fuel valve off and start the engine. Let the engine run until it stops from lack of fuel in the carburetor. Running time should be approximately three minutes. To prepare for storage lasting more than 90 days, drain all the fuel from the fuel tank and carburetor. To drain the fuel tank and carburetor, place an approved container below the carburetor drain tube. Turn the fuel valve to the on position. Locate the carburetor drain screw in the access hole on the left rear side of the snow thrower. Use a flashlight to help locate the drain screw. With a long flat tip screwdriver, loosen the drain screw one turn or until the fuel starts to drain. Do not remove the drain screw. Tip the snow thrower back on the rear support to help drain all the fuel from the tank. Once fuel has stopped draining, tighten the carburetor drain screw. Then, with the engine completely cool, remove the spark plug and pour one teaspoon of clean engine oil into the cylinder. Putting oil in the engine will prevent rust from forming inside the engine. Reinstall the spark plug and pull the starter rope several times to distribute the oil in the cylinder. Finally, pull the starter rope slowly until you feel resistance. This will close the valves so moisture can't enter the cylinder. The handlebar can be folded for storage or transportation. Loosen the handlebar nuts and fold the handlebar over the top of the snow thrower. Make sure the control cables do not bind or get pinched. Do not use a sheet of plastic for a dust cover. Non-porous covers trap moisture and promote rust and corrosion. This concludes the video on snow thrower maintenance and storage. Refer to the owner's manual for clarification and more details on the processes shown in this video. For additional resources, visit us at powerequipment.honda.com.